What is up guys? It's your boy, Sick Cacus, and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new King's Fall Raid Scout Rifle, the Doom of Chelchus, and how this is, oh my goodness, like a couple of days ago, I made a video on the King's Fall Raid hand cannon. That thing blew my mind. I think it is the new best in slot PVE hand cannon. But the hits keep coming with the King's Fall loot because the Doom of Chelchus, I think, is the best PvE scout rifle in the entire game as well. Bungie really didn't hold back with the quality of the King's Fall loot. Pretty much everything is nuts. And again, this scout is no exception. So what makes it so darn good? Well, let's take a look at the role I'm using for the background gameplay. It's not what I think is the utter god role that you guys should be going for, but undoubtedly it's a role I'm sure a lot of you guys want to see in action. It is the complete wombo combo meme role of Firefly, where precision kills with this weapon increase reload speed and cause the target to explode, dealing solar damage to nearby enemies, and also Dragonfly. Precision kills create an elemental damage explosion. Never before in the history of Destiny 2 have both of these perks spawned on the same gun. Like, so what does it actually do? Well, as you can see right here, if I get a precision kill and I kind of slow down the footage here, you can see there's two explosions going on. We have the void effects from the void explosion from Dragonfly. Like obviously the gun is void, the Dragonfly explosion will be void. But then we also clearly have those, you know, red solar effects from Firefly. And if we look closely right here, you can see we have three different damage numbers going on here. We have the yellow precision damage from that headshot and then we have two white numbers 3700 and 5600 those are from the two different explosions so basically what this roll does is give your firefly and or dragonfly double damage like they'll both blow up at the same time and so you are absolutely nuking nearby enemies if they get caught in this explosion like it's pretty nuts now, is this roll actually good? Well, it's certainly not bad, and I guarantee you're gonna be seeing clips on Twitter of people shooting one guy on a capture zone in the Crucible, and then both of these explosions go off and nuke everyone beside them. Like, that is going to happen. But in the grand scheme of things, it is a bit more of a meme roll, as I was saying. Because if we take a look at the potential roles of the Tomb of Chelchus, it, it's so far beyond what any other scout rifle can do in Destiny 2. So, the Doom of Chelchus is a precision frame 180 rounds per minute archetype. And if we take a look at its potential barrels, well, nothing out of the ordinary here. Really keep away from something like full bore because you don't want minus 10 stability, especially in PvE, where I think this weapon is going to specialize. And then we've got some different magazine extending uh, perks here. Definitely pretty useful, but again, going for something like flared magwell to increase the reload speed overall is not a bad choice either. But then in that first main perk slot, oh my goodness, we get things started here really with explosive payload. Okay guys, if you watch that hand cannon video, you know I went off and you know rambled on for a while about how good explosive payload is. It's going to separate some of your damage into explosive damage. That damage has infinite range, so you can shoot enemies when they are pixels on your screen. Unbelievable for end game content. And it's going to increase your damage by 15 to 10% depending if you shoot head or body all the time. Like, so it's basically like an active frenzy all the time. You don't have to do anything. You just get more damage. But this is the first time ever in the history of Destiny 2 that explosive payload is spawning in the left hand column for a scout rifle. For hand cannons, it's only happened twice. The first time was with the Fatebringer hand cannon, generally considered to be the best hand cannon in the entire game, and the only other time is the brand new Zyuli's Bane, which I made an entire video, you know, raving about how it's the new best hand cannon in the game. So, when explosive spawns on the left column, it's a big freaking deal. It means that it doesn't compete with all those incredible damage-increasing perks that spawn in the right column. But we also have... 
Firefly spawning here in the left column as well. Very, very good. Again, this is usually a right column perk. Vorpal Weapon, same thing. But then in that right column, it means you can get Explosive plus Dragonfly. Already Explosive plus Dragonfly, very solid roll. But you can also get Explosive plus Focus Fury. If you want to be using this in higher level content, Grandmasters, where you're going to be shooting that same enemy quite a lot, Focus Fury is going to give you a big damage increase. Frenzy, for just a really easy to trigger, like if you're in combat, it's Frenzy is going to be on. Like, it's really not hard to trigger. It's going to give you better reload speed and that get like 15% increase to damage combined with explosive payload. You've basically got, you know, 30% more damage all the time for just doing normal combat stuff. But it can also get one for all. One of the best PvE damage increasing perks in the entire game. You hit three separate targets. You don't even have to kill them. You just hit them. You get 30 5% more damage for around 10 seconds. And remember, this is craftable. So you can have enhanced explosive payload to also increase the accuracy and enhanced one for all. So it lasts for 11 seconds. One extra second, I mean, doesn't seem like a lot, but hey, it can result in you securing the kill versus being killed. Not to mention one for all is even easier to trigger because explosive payload spreads around the damage. Shoot a group of thrall, it's not unlikely you're gonna get three hits and instantly activate one for all in a single shot. Unbelievably good. You can also go with something like Repulsor Brace so that you are getting overshields by, you know, putting volatile rounds on this thing. Heck, even unrelenting. Overall, like explosive plus unrelenting to give you heals for using this weapon could actually be a very viable role. And not to mention, it also has the new runneth over origin trait where reloading near allies overflows the magazine. So if you're near one ally, it's gonna give you one or two extra rounds. Like, it's really not a big deal. However, you're quickly going to notice that runneth over stacks with the amount of nearby allies. So I spawn into this catch crash, my entire fire team is around me, and now I reload, and I just went from 15 to 32 rounds in the magazine. I doubled my magazine size by simply reloading my gun with allies nearby. So obviously, like in solo content, it's completely useless. But if you're doing strikes, again, any sort of six-man activity, raids, whatever the seasonal activity is, this is going to be one of the best origin traits in the game. Like just casually doubling your magazine size, that's insane. That's so much more than what most other origin traits can do. So, at the end of the day, you have a scout rifle, the Doom of Chelchus, that is craftable. So you're guaranteed to get the god roll by making it yourself. It has access to enhanced perks that are outright better than normal perks. It can get explosive payload, one of, if not the, best PvE perks in the entire game, in the left column for the first time ever in, like, five years of Destiny 2, and also it can combine that perk with several incredible S plus tier damage increasing perks, Frenzy, One For All, heck, even Dragonfly would be good. Like this is doing everything you want out of a PvE scout rifle. It is so much better than any other scout rifle in the entire game for PvE. Like this is going to replace every single other PvE scout rifle, with the exception of obviously, you know, have a solar and arc scout rifle for acute burns. But aside from that, it's the Doom. The answer to the question is always Doom of Chelchus. Guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.